Tonight, Alabama inmate Kenneth Smith became the first inmate in the country to be put to death using nitrogen hypoxia. He was executed for his involvement in the 1988 killing of Elizabeth Senate in Colbert County. Gray television reporter Josh Gant joins us now live in Atmore with more on this historic night. Josh. Yeah, good evening. A little over an hour and a half ago, Kenneth Smith was pronounced dead by the state of Alabama. As we mentioned, this execution, the first one using nitrogen hypoxia. According to Corrections Commissioner John Hamm, who spoke with us just a short time ago, he said that there wasn't anything that happened out of the ordinary with this execution and that it took place according to plan uh, with uh, his According to plan during his uh, estimation, he said that it appeared Smith uh, did uh, hold his breath during the start of this execution. Now, according to the five media witnesses, they say it appeared Smith was conscious for several minutes into this execution. They say he shook and writhed on the execution gurney, then eventually took several deep breaths before his breath started to slow down, eventually pronounced dead by the state around 825. Attorney General Steve Mark Marshall says this execution method proved to be an effective and humane method of execution. Elizabeth Senate's son, Mike, spoke to us shortly after this execution. He's calling this a bittersweet day for his family, saying that evil deeds have consequences, and he says that justice has been served for his family. Take a listen. Nothing happened here today is going to bring uh, mom back nothing uh, it's kind of a bittersweet day we're not going to be jumping around hooping and hollering hooray and all that that's that's not us but uh, we're glad this day is over Once again, Kenneth Smith, the first death row inmate in the country executed by nitrogen hypoxia, pronounced dead around 825 here at Holman Correctional Facility. He did have some final words before that. He said Alabama, uh, he said that Alabama, uh, humanity here in Alabama took a step backwards and that he went on to say that he loves his family. We're in Atmore. I'm Josh Gann. We'll send it back to you. Thank you, Josh. Attorney General Steve Marshall will hold a news conference tomorrow to address this first of its kind execution. Meantime, Governor Kay Ivey released a statement following the execution. She said in part, quote, the execution was lawfully carried out by nitrogen hypoxia, the method previously requested by Mr. Smith as an alternative to lethal injection. At long last, Mr. Smith got what he asked for, and this case can finally be put to rest.